the Vice President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Distinguished Senator Kashim Shitima, in person here today to come and flag off the Kogi State gubernatorial campaign, which will usher in, by the grace of God, a new administration of APC come November uh, 11, 2023. You're most welcome, Your Excellency, sir. With, uh, here is not a speech-making event. It's just to welcome you. Our people are there gathered in their hundreds of thousands at the stadium, Muhammadu Buhari Square, to welcome you and to cheer you. And uh, we want to assure you, sir, that you are seeing unity in place. Here are our revered fathers. We have enjoyed working, a good working relationship with them all this while. And all the citizens of Kogi State are in our support. We want to assure you that this election is going to be smooth, fair, and credible. And we want to equally assure you that we will campaign based on issues. When we came on board, we met a state that was more or less like a glorified local government. Today, we have a state that is going to compete favorably with uh, at least Ogun. We, will, we are almost at overtaking Ogun State and Kanu State. I can, I'm bold to say that. Uh, we are trailing behind, in, uh, we, are, we are coming behind uh, Medjugurisa. We, we can't say that we overtake you, sir. <laughs> you know, we have done a lot, quite a lot, to be able to campaign to our people. And this is government at the center, government at the state, government at the, at the local government level of APC. Your Excellency, Kogi State cannot afford to go into opposition hand. With the proximity of Kogi State to FCT and the number of states that borders us, up to 10, including FCT, sir, we have done a lot in terms of security, infrastructural development, human capital development, and several other things that borders on good governance and dividend of democracy to our people. We are only hoping that by the grace of God, after the election, Usman Ahmed Ododo will build on the legacies we are leaving behind. You did it in Borno State. You handed over to my brother, Governor Zulu, and he's building on it. I have done my own part, and by the grace of God, I shall hand over to Ahmed Usman Ododo to build on the legacies that we have left behind. Thank you, and God bless you, sir. Shall we put our hands once more for Bola Ahmed Tinubu? Welcome to Kogi State. Your Excellency, the Governor of Kogi State, Dr. Alajiaya Adozabelo. Your Excellency, the former Governor of Kano State, who is currently the Chairman of APC. We are welcome. Permit me to stand on the already established protocol by the state government to avoid the wasting of time. So the traditional line of Kogi State have one voice and speak with one voice. As far as security is concerned, the governor of Kogi State is doing his best. <laughs> and for the forthcoming election, I pray that it's going to be free, fair, and credible. We assure you, sir. All the real fathers in this present hall will be behind you. Thank you. Agabaid. Thank you, sir. At this point in time, I would like to invite our guests, special guests. The number two citizen. First of all, our royal fathers have been here for far too long waiting for our presence. I want to tender our apologies for keeping you waiting. I'm here to represent my principal, President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, GCFR, for the plug up of the Kogi State gubernatorial campaign race. 
Your Excellencies, Your Royal Highnesses, Distinguished Ladies and Gentlemen, the road that led us to Ashwaju Bola Ahmed did not happen by chance. This is a man who had shown a tremendous propensity of aligning himself with the people of this nation at momentous periods in the annals of contemporary Nigerian history. When some of his contemporaries were struggling for a space on the dining table in Abuja, he stood firmly for democracy, for equity, and for justice. And here he is at the helm of appears of this our great nation. And Kogi is at a crossroads. Kogi is one of the most endowed states in the Nigerian Federation. <laughs> For the purpose of continuity and consolidation, Kogi cannot afford to fall into hostile hands. Certainly it will deprive Kogi of his rightful share in the nation. The president had just approved funds for the construction of the Ganaja Road. <laughs> and be rest assured that before we came into this interface, I had a chat with the Honorable Minister of works. His Excellency Engineer Dave Omahi. And he has is a man of honor and conviction. And he has given me his word that the Abuja Lokoja Okene Road will receive expedited and focused attention in the coming weeks. <laughs> Some of portions of this road were awarded 17 years ago. There is a need for us to revisit those contracts and if needs be, revoke and reaward those contracts for their proper and prompt <laughs> execution. We'll make the natural resources of Kogi to work for its citizens. Kogi is lucky to have his own as the Minister of Steel Development. Not a junior minister, Your Royal Highnesses, Your Excellencies, but the senior minister of state development. He is the son of an illustrious family, the son of the late Prince Abubakar Audu, who laid landmarks in the sands of time. You can confidently call him the architect of modern Kogi. He laid the foundation for all subsequent governance to build on. I was in Russia for the Russia-Africa summit, where we had begun a conversation for the completion of the Ajao Kuta and Itakpe steel plants. The projects are almost 92% completed, 98, 92 to 98% completed. We require very little to bring it into fruition. But the hostile government in Kogi will find it very difficult to get into any conversation with the federal authorities. As H.S. Aga said, the truth that says men free is most often the truth that men prefer not to hear. But I would rather tell you the truth. We need, for the purpose of continuity and consolidation, an APC government in Kogi State. <laughs> the Ajaokuta plan can be a game changer for the Nigerian nation. It has the capacity to assist us in meeting the eight point agenda of the federal government with respect to job creation and foreign direct investment. 
Ajao Kuta has the capacity to produce components for CNG buses as part of the federal government's gas master plan to cushion the apex of the subsidy removal. And Your Excellencies, Your Royal Highnesses, Ajao Kuta has the potential to create up to 500,000 jobs once we designate Ajao Kuta it's an industrial park and pre-trade zone. There is massive youth unemployment that needs to be addressed. And the people of Kogi have no business being poor. That is the brutal truth. You have been endowed with tremendous natural and human resources that when properly harnessed can provide jobs, not only to the people of Kogi, but to people of other contiguous states in the North Central Zone. But we can do little if we have a hostile government in place that is fighting us at the center. The governor had spoken to me about the Alakpe crop processing zone that is yet to see the light of the day. Once we get back to Abuja, as from tomorrow, we'll see where we can come in to bring it into fruition. We need your support. We need your prayers. We need your empathy for us to enthrone an APC government in Kogi State. The president meant well for the nation. The president meant well for Kogi. I can tell you quite frankly, I have seen the soul of Bola Ahmed Tinubu, and he has a clean heart. He is unassuming. And most importantly, he doesn't suffer from insecurities. If you have superior ideas, he can easily submit to superior ideas. He has never claimed to have the monopoly of wisdom of answers to every solution. <laughs> so I want to once again thank His Majesty the Atawa of Igala and all our royal fathers for receiving us, for granting us audience, for listening attentively to us, for all the major stakeholders in Kogi for coming to align with us, for our national chairman, who is the father of the party, and to Governor Dapo Abiodun, who has shown the enthusiasm, the drive, the passion, and the commitment to see that we have succeeded, we succeed in the next upcoming elections in Kogi. I want to once again thank you in unity, we can accomplish a lot. Let us use our diversity as our source of strength. Thank you so much. Long live Kogi State. Long live Federal Republic of Nigeria. Thank you.